What's up, boys and girls? I can't just say hey guys anymore because there's actually girls watching my videos, I think. So I don't want to be rude. So, what's up, everybody? I have been working on some stuff. One of the things I've been working on was a magnetic pole detector. Um, everybody has seen, uh, some of you anyway, have seen my magnetic pole detector here. Uh, this was built from scratch. And uh, most people don't realize this, but this is actually recycled. Everything you see here, I didn't purchase anything. The only thing I bought was the plastic tube. And that is actually a uh, light cover for a fluorescent bulb. Okay, So if you, do, if you do build one, you want some tubes that come with the caps. It's 4 foot or 8 foot tubes, and you only get 2 caps. So, Nonetheless, that's what this is. This is my original one. I've been doing some work on this. Um, kind of some updating to it. Um, one of the things I did was I uh well let's put it this way okay everybody has these test leads and nobody uses them because they don't clip to anything right I finally solved the dilemma check it out so here's my tester okay and on the bottom I've installed two plugs yeah right okay so there you go now it's still portable but my meter is hooked up to it so it'll actually give me a digital reading. It'll give me exactly to the, the nitty gritty, especially if you have a really good multimeter. It'll tell me exactly what voltage it is, and if I get close to something, it'll start reading really far away if you have a strong magnetic field. So, I'm going to show you that, and I'm also going to show you something. Uh, I built another magnetic pole detector for another person, and uh, you all know him. His name is Jack and this I'll be sending this to him so there you go Jack uh, there's your new tester coming to, to you uh, he calls it the Grease Galactic Gauss Wand Gauss Wand I can't say Gauss Gauss doesn't matter it's a crazy word anyway alright so here's the new one uh, this one looks uh, a lot better um, if it'll focus basically there it is, the Grease Galactic Ga uh, Gauss wand or meter. Um, the LEDs are colored and everything's all nice and neat in there. But like I said, I designed this chaotic, it was supposed to be that way. Um, and I designed this one a little bit better. Um, it's still exactly the same as this one, but the wires are all nice and neat and easy to work on if you had to. And you have colored LEDs now. So I'll flip it on. You can see the LED down there for power, and the north south is on. Uh, after the battery kind of settles in, chips get warm, they get kind of tuned there. So I'm going to take my uh, my magnet, and I'm going to show you all the pretty colors that I have now. Okay, so I've got green, and then yellow, and then red. Now again, this one is all nice and fancy and special because I, I actually could buy parts for this. This one is all recycled material. I built this whole thing out of nothing but recycled material. Except for the plastic and the batteries. Uh, and I left it on and it's dead now, so now i got to buy more batteries. But this is, uh, this is the new meter. And it uh, also has the plugs on the bottom. So I'm going to do a little demo for you. I've created these little caps um, to install on the end of the wand like this and now you have a metal tip so that you can get uh, into a strong magnetic electrical magnetic field and be able to, to tell what's going on it has to be pretty strong to see it because it's a hall sensor and it's really designed for magnets but you can I've got a couple different tips here um, I've actually really only got two different kinds this is a hardened uh, or just a standard bolt. This is a drill bit. They got different metal properties. Okay, so let's do a little demo. I got my setup here. Get the camera set up. One second. All right. First thing I'm going to do is show you. Plug these into the bottom here of the uh, magic wand, and I'm going to. Basically, uh, the LEDs will only light up if there's a strong error magnetic field. So if you want to get sensitive, I mean real sensitive, this meter will pick it up now that you can plug it in. So basically, I'll show you. I'll hold my magnet way back here. And you can see the voltage start to change. 
depending on how close I am. Almost looks like a negative lip, it's just a reflection. Alright, um, so let's see here. The more positive the voltage is a south, and the less positive the voltage is a north. Okay, so you can see you can see how sensitive it is. You can really get fine minute, uh, minute, 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 whatever, fine readings with this. Uh, for instance, whoa, let's go for a little walk. All right, so I've got some really big magnets here that I'm going to be experimenting with. I'll go ahead and just set the meter right here so you can see it. And uh, Hey, look how uh, it's kind of hard to tell how far away I am. I'm about, eh. It's hard to see, man. This light's just horrible. About a foot away. And you can see it's picking up a reading. So that's a pretty strong magnetic field outside of. And you can also see it on my meter. You see on my meter. Once you get it close here, about there it starts reading the north, which is pretty far away still. And then as I get closer, my lights start lighting up. Hold it all the way on there, gets into the yellow, not quite into the red. Um, but again, if I if I hold this thing pretty far away, you can see how far away I am, and you can see my measurement. I'm actually reading my measurement from that far away without the LEDs because it is so sensitive you can see it with a meter but you can't see it with the LEDs alright let's go back to the bench oh and, and just so you all know for whatever reason everybody thinks that I'm working on a metal bench it looks like metal it's just painted it's a wooden painted bench so don't freak out me like taking jumpers and lay them all over the board and like you guys just scaring me and I'm like no it's cool alright rock out alright so I've got my rodent coil hooked up to my um, my pulse width modulator here if you guys haven't seen that yet I'll give you a quick view again built this from scratch etched the circuit board it's even got my name in it PC fan hooked up to a transistor on a heat sink. It's got multiple inputs. I can put in 120 volt AC here, or I can put in DC here, and I can also hook up to my outputs to the transistor to see on my scope that I don't have just yet. Hooked up to a 24 volt power supply. Okay. All right. So I'm going to flip it on. It's already kind of set up. You guys uh, and girls, most of you have seen this. Standing roding, uh, stand and screw in my rodent coil. All right, and here's my meter, and I'm going to get my wand close to that screw, and you can tell, you can see it changing. Okay, you can tell what polarity the screw is as far as magnetics. Uh, also, I can attach my end cap here, and I can get a reading on the uh, electromagnetic field a little bit. That's a south. I flip this over. I can get a north. So there you go. This is not the uh, most precise tool in the world, but you know, it is built from scratch. I did design it myself, and it works pretty good for what I need. Hopefully Jack would like it. And uh, if you guys want to build it, the schematic is on my other video. Um, the outputs here on the bottom connect uh, directly to the output pin on the op amp. So that's where that's where it goes, ground and the op amp. So it's just reading the uh, op amp. And all the other ones are just uh, LM, what are they, 3.3? No, yeah, 3.3.9 ends and they just voltage comparators. That light up your LEDs. So there you go. 
That's all I got for you guys today. I got one more thing real quick. I know I told you all uh, I've been working on lots of other ideas, and I've, I and I still am. But no worries, I am getting my rodent coil wrapped. I showed you that last time with just one winding. Again, I'm using recycled material here. Um, this is all recycled copper. Here's my next get go. Wrap the second layer on here and start on the Abaha Taurus. So there you go, that's all I got for you guys. And uh, for you, Jack, I got a new hat on you haven't seen. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. That's it. I got lots to do, and I'll be out for a little while because I'm going to be doing lots of stuff. One of the things I'll be doing is with, give you a little C here. These are hard drive magnets. These all came out of the exact same hard drives. I have took apart, um, I mean, did I take apart? I think I took apart 18 of them here. I did it in about three hours by hand with a micro precision screwdriver set because it takes Torx, tiny Torx. Uh, I, I calculated 500 screws by hand. It was awesome. And uh, just so you know, here's my little walkway to a shop for my storage area. I tell you guys I have a couple of hard drives. I'm not kidding. I have a couple of hard drives. So that's one box. Give you a little tour of my shop. Got all my bolts and nuts here. All my electronics and boards and pieces I salvage and everything else. And here's the other box of hard drives. This box is full. Yeah. So when I say I have a lot of hard drives, I mean I have a lot of hard drives. And you want to see something really cool? Check this out. This is the oldest hard drive most of you have ever seen. It went in a washing machine tub type situation. Okay. You can see how many hard drives I've done. I've got so many of these. It's everywhere. This is a hard drive. Okay. This actually dropped in to a machine that looked like a washing machine. And the arm uh, come out. It's got the heads on it and read this thing. Look how big this thing is. Here's my hand. I used it as a doorstop from where I got it from. And this cover sits on there. Hey, you can imagine what kind of data if that thing got a little bit of a scratch on it, right? Hi, kitty. Hi. What was that? Alright. That's all I got for you today. Um, here's some more hard drive magnets. I'm telling you. Oh, and I did find a good thing to use my hard drive magnets for because they're, they're north and south on the same side, so it's like four pole magnet and they're all funny shaped. I found a good way to use them. I've got all my, got all my cords hanging over there. So there you go. Alright, just a little update and uh, showing you my magnetic pole detector that I built. I did order a few extra chips when I made the order. Um, so I got a, a couple extra chips with. Uh, uh, I can build, finally build my three-stage pulsar circuit, and I did find some transformers to build it. So I'll be energizing my uh, Abha Taurus with my schematic and see what happens. If anything happens at all, that'd be cool. I'll, I'll turn the camera on anyway. You'll at least get to see it. Alright, I'm out of here. Have a good week, and happy Thanksgiving to all. This is Russ. I'm out.